Dancing with Machetes? I don't think no rap beef in history got that crazy. The beef between Fat Joe and 50 Cent really put some heat on the streets of New York City back in the day. I posted a video about this topic and it did numbers, so y'all know I had to double back on the content. Now I'm going to let you hear the original clip from Fat Joe where he talks about how his crew used to dance with machetes. But first I want you to hear the man who was holding the blade, Pistol Pete. Check out what Pete had to say about the G-Unit beef on the Premium Pete podcast. I finally bumped into Joe when he when Chris Lydon died and then Joe had to perform with 50 on, on the same set. And that's when everything was like, yo, we're going to start squash the beef and all this yeah, and all how that. How powerful was that? Okay. that was... No, nah, it was crazy. You know, it was a little bit funny. Everybody up there not expecting, not knowing what. But the funny shit is that I was having a hard time getting inside. Mm. Like the, oh, the, the venue? The, the, yeah, like the security was giving me a hard time. The po- I, I guess they were scheming like, yo, that's supposed to pee. We got to search him a little bit extra. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's coming through. And I wasn't even deep. I, I was deep, but they was like on the other side. Sure. I was just with me and um, Raul, mm-hmm. you know, one of my T.S. brothers. Yeah, so, yeah. so me, so, and I'm like, but I have that thing on me. You know, meaning when I say I got that thing on me, I got a knife on me. Mm. You know, like, a, you know, just a regular blade. Regular blade is like having a nine on me. You know, having a gun, you know, sure, sure. 357. I'm really nice with the knife. How you call it? So, you know, we yes, out sir. there. We know we out there and like that. And they're giving me a hard time. Here goes 50 cents coming through. He's coming through with a whole squad. Yeah. He got his whole team with him. Like, you know, it's like 20 of the motherfuckers. I'm like, All right, I'm like, yo, so I told Raul, well, you know, get ready because, you know, we just never know. You know? And it was all love, man. 50 came. One, one kept it one hundred percent. What's up, you legend? What's up, pistol? With all love. I was like, yo, I was, I was just shocked, really. You know, I'm like, all right, all love. And, and he was like, what's up? And I was like, this nigga gave me a hard time in getting in. He was like, man, we not going in until he goes in. Mm. We all going in together. If not, we not going in, and that's it. And he was like, he told the mother. He was like, all right, all right, cool, all right, fifty yo. And it was like, nah, fifty was like, come on, come on, let's go. And I was like, oh, and then we went, we all went in. Mm. You know, and it was all love. And ever since, 50 has dealt with my whole team. Rich Player, yeah. Joe, and I still haven't talked to 50. We still haven't, never vibed, never talked to him, never sat down and talked about anything, you know. But like I said, you know, it was all love, you know what I mean? So I don't, you know, he, he's good. Fat Joe got some wild dudes on his team. The legacy of Pistol Pete made rappers want no smoke with Fat Joe and the Terror Squad. Tony Yayo knows all too well about the chaos beefing with Fat Joe brought. During his interview with Drink Champs, Yayo spoke about the dancing with machetes they used to do. Here's what he had to say. You f- fat, you know you f- Fat Joe. Khaled ain't f- with you. So, so that, I guess he was Terror Squad. So we're trying to say that you gave DJ Khaled the record to play? No, I'm going to tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. Yeah. So in my mind, we had beef with Fat Joe. I'm like, damn, we got beef with Fat Joe now? Because sometimes you be like, damn, man. Oh, you you want to enjoy your rap? <laughs> you got tired of the beef? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you have beef with before that? didn't give a f- He's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But you're like, damn, 50 with Fat Joe now. Damn, man. I, I can just look at Who we got? <laughs> so we got beef with Fat Joe now. Damn. <laughs> so now I got my record I'm trying to promote. So they're like, yo, you got to go to Miami. Uh-huh. So I'm like, oh, shit, Miami, man. Oh, I got to come out here, bro. They're like, yo, you got to go to DJ Khaled. I said, yo, you know Nelson? Oh, yeah, Nelson. Yeah, Nelson, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nelson Gabby, I, all of yeah, yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Nelson, like, yo, man, DJ Khaled is cool, man. He's going to play the record. Yo, bro. <laughs> I say, yo, bro, I don't think this is a good idea, man. <laughs> Why would they tell you that? I told these niggas. It's the industry, bro. These niggas they set wild you up, bro. You They'll set you up. Yeah. They'll set you up. Yo, I'm going to give you stories, bro. They'll set you up, bro. Don't believe this industry shit. So I'm like, yo, bro, this is not a good idea. DJ Khaled, we beefing with Fat Joe. Huh. Mind you, Shot 9-7 just happened. Oh. Shot 9-7, the game, henchman, all that we all, okay. Shot 9 7 got banned right, from the first Hot 9 7. Hot 9 7, just so y'all know. I know y'all was the first. Who's the first? All right. This, <laughs> this, this, I know y'all. y'all, 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 y'all we got, we got yeah, banned second. Yeah, that does. I'm sorry. It's crazy. All right, guys. I'm sorry. You know? <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. So, Shot 9 7, that just happened. Uh-huh. So, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm telling you, 
this is not a god I, good idea, man. I'm telling you, bro. I'm like, yo, it's not a good idea, man. Right. I'm telling Nelson. He's like, yo, man, I'm telling you, fuck it, you gonna play the record? So we go up there, DJ Khaled, go up there. You know, he's marketing genius. Khaled, yeah. he's getting bigger at this point. Uh-huh. I told these niggas, yo, don't take me to DJ Khaled. Fat Joe, that's his man. Right. He damn near terror squad. Right. Going there, I'm not going to say who was there. Uh-huh. Niggas there had the big ham on him. <laughs> <laughs> Going there, you see the weights bulging. Uh-huh. Oh, boy, here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We wasn't traveling light. I'm not going to say much, but uh-huh. we wasn't traveling light. Uh-huh. So, you know, go to Cali to shake his hand. DJ Cali, get the fuck. Out of here. Word them up. My hands like this. I'm like, told you, Nelson. It was on Nelson. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me, tell me. You going too fast? Hold on, tell me. When you reached your hand towards DJ Khaled, I told Nelson, don't bring me to DJ Khaled. They said, yo, he gonna play the record. Okay. He's cool. He's playing fifty. Sh-. DJ Khaled. This is the beef with Fat Joe. That's okay. so why I say Fat Joe. Whole way. Shout out to Fat uh, Joe. Right. Yeah, got crazy, crazy Spanish. Uh, knives jumping out. Right. Do all kinds. Of- <laughs> That's why I shot the Fat Joe. I'm glad the beef with Fat Joe is over, man. It was it was it ever a time I will get back to Fat Joe. But was it ever a time you was beefing with somebody like, damn, I, we got to beef with him? I think Fat Joe, man. Yeah, hey, he just said, yeah, because you just said Spanish n- Bronx. Right. Them n- are just crazy. <laughs> the Dominican, Puerto Rican, <laughs> like <laughs> them niggas they come to service they love, they gonna go all the way, mm-hmm. like. Like Pistol Pete, mm. he was gonna go all the way. Like Pete, my man, one time I ran into him in the Diamond District. Mm. He said I ran, but I put it on my father. I didn't run. <laughs> right. But look, I had right. two of my mans with me. He had two little Spanish n- that looked like they, you know, all right. dance with the knives. <laughs> <laughs> you know them niggas in the Bronx? Them niggas are, <laughs> them niggas are dancing That's with them. West Side Side Story. <laughs> he had two little grimy niggas with him. So, right. like, Joe got. His right. brother was somebody, right, right? in right. the Bronx, right. right? I believe his brother uh-huh. was somebody. Uh-huh. Joe had was ready to die. Uh-huh. You know them niggas in the Bronx to pull a machete out on you, start right. dancing, right? <laughs> start dancing. That's when I realized, you know, them Bronx crazy. Right. With all due respect to G Unit, I don't think those vests they were rocking back in the day could stop a machete. I mean, could you imagine Fat Joe and his goons pulling up on you with machetes? That almost sounds unbelievable, like a scene out of a movie or something. However, Fat Joe confirmed everything Tony Yayo said on The Breakfast Club. Here's Fat Joe's response to Tony Yayo on Drink Champs. Documentaries about my brother Pistol Pete. Mm-hmm. Pistol Pete K.A.R. And his documentaries. Like they, he's like the predicate from Rikers Island. You know, he started... No disrespect, all that cutting and all that mm-hmm. in Rikers Island. Was he one of the ones break dancing with machetes? No, he was yeah. definitely <laughs> one of those. <laughs> he said it was the West Side Story. Yo, like this. you know these guys. You know, this guy, he ain't lying, man. man. You- they don't just make battles like this anymore in the rap game. The fact that all these dudes made it out of that to tell their story is absolutely insane. What's even more insane is that Fat Joe and 50 Cent have formed a friendship. Click the video on the screen to find out more about that. Peace.